On a Sunday afternoon, in a small town near the city of Chattanooga, a group gathers for a purse party. We represent Peace of Thread, which is um, a local initiative, and it's under the umbrella of AMFA, which is Adventist Muslim Friendship Association. We had a purse party, and it was in somebody's home, and so she invited a lot of her friends from the church that they attend, and then we set up and showed them the purses. Uh, of course, we have a variety. There's no two purses that are alike. We make sure of that. And so every person that buys is going to have something unique and something that is their own. Inside each one of the purses, we have a little tag that tells about the refugee that sewed that purse and a little bit about Amfa. And we ask each lady that buys to be able to pray for that refugee. With the purse party wrapping up, Mona helps Darlene put away the remaining purses. Mona, who arrived as a refugee 11 years ago, is both in leadership at AMFA and a designer for Piece of Thread Chattanooga. We sell a lot of things, a lot of purses, and God bless us with all kind of people that came here. So we're looking forward to the, for the next time, next, me next, next me meeting, another, uh, another house. Maybe next month we will be at, at my house. Malek, see you tomorrow. During the summer, AMFA has a summer school for Muslim refugee children, helping them to integrate into America in a godly way. At the same time, we started sewing classes for the women and that's where we started with Piece of Thread, so that they're actually learning to sew, learning to sew purses, and now being able to sell them and make some money. It's Monday, and the women of Piece of Thread Chattanooga are gathering for their weekly sewing class. The sewing class takes place in various church fellowship halls, though someday they hope to have a more permanent location. Nima starts the day off with a quick testimony. The women talk about their week, Darlene talks about the successes of Sunday afternoon, makes some announcements, and after a short prayer, they begin on a new purse design. Part of the whole experience is not just about learning to sew, of course, but it's getting together and getting acquainted with each other and listening to you know, what their needs are and what their experiences are and sharing those with us as leaders with them, but also with each other because so many of these ladies didn't know each other before and so they have sisters that they can call on you know to answer questions and to just share the highs and lows of life. Rhonda, who was a nurse in Sudan before coming to the United States as a refugee, will be starting her studies to become a medical assistant later this year. It's helped me to uh, organize my time first and uh, my boys, they love that too. And I got the machine. They said, oh, mom, we don't have to throw our, our clothes. We can, you can sew to us. And that's the good things. And I organized my time to, for sewing and do what, teach uh, my, tea, my kids and clean my house and do whatever I want. And first time I don't like to sew, but now I really enjoy sewing. I used to sew in my country. So when I, they add me to the AMFA group, so they, they put me as a like designer. I came here as a like refugee, and now my turn to help a refugee, to help them what they need, what they want, uh, especially the woman. So now they, they have an income every month. So I'm happy when I see them very happy. So the, the project's a big blessing to me personally, um, uh, starting off because, you know, we're given talents and uh, it's true that I can, you know, make quilts or make costumes or whatever, but it doesn't have the same joy as doing the sewing project with these ladies. You know, they're excited about n learning a new skill, it gives them something to do in their spare time and it gives them an opportunity to earn income. And for a couple of these ladies, they've never, never had their own spending money. I love seeing the ladies happy. I love seeing the ladies creating, interacting. We're a, we're a, a community and we share and you know, this is all for God.
please pray for the relationships being formed through this initiative. Thank you for supporting Mission.